try this at home. What niggas talking about? I don't care if it's consciousness. I don't care if it's about community. All that shit is trash. Ain't nobody hip hop nowadays. Everybody trash. All right, look, check this out. Look, we about to get into uh uh, we about to get into the real Bible study. All the all theologians is trash. Nigga, this this the best muscle relaxer you will ever get in your life, nigga. Hot sauce, pink Himalayan salt, and some ice, nigga. That's it. I'm going no further than that. Fuck your pills. Fuck your diabetic pills. Thank you so much for the donation. Uh, my my series 26. We don't go no, it don't, it don't, it don't go no further than that. My motherfucking sis popped today. That shit bust. I couldn't get it all out. I'm still going to the hospital tomorrow, though, but couldn't get it all out. So now they probably going to give me like an antibiotic or something like that. Some stupid shit. Even though I'm going for my pancreas, but that's that caused that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta take care of my inside first, and my outside to be better. Other than that, we're gonna get into some real theology, some real the theological, uh, biblically. Biblically, y'all you know saying understand the real the real context of the Bible. Yeah, you know I'm saying I ain't gonna be using the the Septuagint for all of it. You know what I'm saying, but I'm gonna use it for the Genesis because that's all the New Testament copy all, all anyway. Once we start getting into Matthew, Luke, 
Tom, Dick, and Harry, then that's when you start getting into the New Testament and stuff like that. But you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you got you got Matt, Matt, Matthew, to Tom, Luke, and John. You know what I'm saying? It is it's all Lu on, new on, Yahweh, Yahweh, Guga, Guga. Whole bunch of babble. Now, before you get into any context, this is what you need to understand. Jesuit intellect, Jewish literature, Masonic art. Let me repeat. Masonic art, Jewish literature, Jesuit intellect. Once you understand those three contexts, then you will be able to put pinpoint where they took other contexts and conflated it with other contexts. Were they using other certain contexts to make the mind to make the Jewish mind more superior? Were they using allegories and how they're and how they're remixing it with forms of history with actual rulers you know what i'm saying and you'll be able to pinpoint all of these separate things before you get lost into men and women's interpretation piggybacking off masculine and feminine to the point that you would get dumbass arguments like you 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 uh unitarian and trinitarian dumbass shit you know what i'm saying of wrong starting points Where Jesus don't even mean that for y'all to have a starting point of saying it's three persons if you're in the Trinity. And Jesus being purely a mind state, esoterically speaking, right, ain't even in the actual context of it if you're a Unitarian. You know what I'm saying? And you get ready to say that Jesus is not God in flesh. So either way, you get flunked out having the wrong interpretation of the Bible without understanding Jewish literature, Masonic art, Jesuit intellect. Now, what does these things mean? For people who've been on my channel uh, already, y'all know what these things mean. For people who may be new, this is what these things mean. Jewish literature. It means the language that have been conducted off of hieroglyphics based on the Jews. So it's the Jews interpretation of hieroglyphics. So they didn't do nothing but piggyback and 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 go back and forth with Greeks. All right. In the Greek time. So that's what you that's help you understand. OK, what Jewish literature is before you think about any type of other false men and women's interpretation. Oh, God gave the word to to the Greeks and all before you get lost in all that front out shit. Always understand that it won't be no such thing as words or anything of that nature nature if it ain't come from a man or woman's mind. All right. So before we get to there now, so understanding Jewish literature is under, uh, understanding Jewish literature is understanding the context that something is written in. So that's the literature. So you have to understand the mind state that they was in when they was pointing to certain things. Not for you to be like, oh, Jesus is pointing to a man and man mean male. No, Jesus pointing to an allegory. Man means thought and man is referring to what people who want the, who want their mind to be more superior want males to play out in and, and females to play out in. They want y'all to play out in man and woman natures. Man and woman is nearly a thought and feeling. That's why you can never describe a man and woman. Uh, you can never describe. Um, a man and woman unless you're giving it a description but if you're giving it an actual gender it's male or female you know what i'm saying uh things that's why you don't go in the woods anywhere talking about is that animal or that bug a real man or a woman no you just classify it based upon gender when you when you start to talk about is something a real man or woman you're getting into descriptions definitions aka words okay and what, what they're trying to make us live out things to be but we're getting into the starting point so you can understand everything. Thank you so much for the donation, Nicola Sexa. Real shit. You said I was surgery bound. I'm about to be surgery bound too. I, I didn't have like three surgeries already though. I got four holes in my stomach. And the, the first two surgeries wasn't even for what the fuck I had. I should sue the fuck out them. Real shit. Shout out to Nicola Sexa. We be us spiritual people go through it. We can't, we can't expect people to really understand us, though. But look, check this out. So I'm going to need some more ice. Now, Jew, uh, 
Jewish, that's the only way to get out of the motherfucking cramp. I couldn't do nothing to get out no fucking cramp. Get these fucking cramps I had today. Except what I'm doing now. But look, check this out. Right? So when you start to talk about Jewish literature, right? You're understanding the linguistics. You're understanding how to not get lost into actual words. And how to understand starting points. And what are, what is they actually pointing to? So when you hear in Jewish literature terms like God, you know that they're pointing to something that of that other civilizations was pointing to that they wasn't calling God. You see what I'm saying? So they're pointing to something and calling it God. They're pointing to something and calling it a virtue. They're pointing to something. And then therefore, you know, once you know the starting point of whatever that we're pointing to, then you don't have to get lost into deifying things because you don't know what we're actually pointing to in the first place. I apologize, y'all. I got to do this. But look, check this out, right? Now, so that's Jewish literature. Now, Masonic art. What is Masonic art? Masonic art is basically artists during, during these times that know how to build off literature. So Mason is just a really, in all, in all in actuality, a different term for building, right? But there is, there's a certain way to build. Now, when we start to talk about internally building and things of that nature, this is what comes up with the terms of creativity or imagination and a person who know how to externally represent that, a.k.a. either they're a drawer or a musician, an actor, actress, whatever the case may be. So in this case, a person that understand Masonic art will be a person who understand Jewish literature because Masonic art is art based off Jewish literature. And the Masonic term is building on it. So it's building art off of Jewish literature. So that's Masonic art. You see what I'm saying? So once you understand Masonic, once you understand that concept, you'll, you'll be able to understand what you're actually looking at. You see what I'm saying? So for the buildup, let's use this as an allegory right now. Jewish literature. Let's say they're describing something of hell, right? Masonic art will be responsible for drawing what it looks like. So if in Jewish literature... It says that men and women can fall in hell. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying it says that. I'm just giving you an explanation. In Masonic art, you would draw a picture that points to that, right? Now, here's the thing. So you would draw fire and you would draw men and women in that fire, right? So if you just understand Jesuit, if you understand Jesuit, I mean, Jewish literature and Masonic art, you're already getting a ground basis of what you're looking at before you start to tie these things as a history book and start to think that this is something you can actually go to. Now, Jesuit intellect. Jesuit intellect is basically the formation of what they was doing in Rome and Greek, how, do, how we was coming up with arguments into monotheism and pantheism and, and, and monothe all these different forms of different arguments. So this is Jesuit intellect, understanding that that's the context, not picking one of these to be like, oh, this is right and my religion is better than yours. No, understanding that this is the context for us to do these things because no one know. The whole context is to create debate and argument in order for us to develop an expansion within the universe from a mental form. That's just with intellect. All right, now, now that you understand motherfucking Jewish literature, Masonic art, Jesuit intellect. Let's break down an allegory. Now, let's let's say in Jewish literature, you got a picture, you got a uh, literature this or a scripture describing hell, someone being in hell, burning in fire and brimstone. Masonic art come in to let you know how it looks. It might draw some fire. It might draw a beast, and it might draw men and women, or what you think men and women, aka thinking it's a history book. You're gonna tie it to male and females burning in fire. Now, without understanding Jesuit intellect, you're not going to understand the allegory and how to separate it from being a history book, but how it actually is history in the same context. But it's metaphysical and it's something that's dealing with the mind. Jesuit, Jes Jesuit intellect help you understand that when it's referring to the fire, the fire is a pinpoint to something in the Bible. In Jewish literature. And if you understand enough Jewish literature, you will understand that the fire is pinpointed to a person's internal passion that can lead into a desire. AKA what was once you loved, passion can destroy you. AKA desire. Okay? Now, when you start to understand um, um, men and women, right, from a Jesuit intellect, when you get into Jewish literature and break down the starting points of how men and women is referred to, 
First and foremost, you got men and women living for hundreds and hundreds of years. Second and foremost, you got uh, Adam and Eve in a garden that's not on earth. Third and foremost, right, you got thoughts and people doing things that you've never seen an actual human do, like rise from the flesh. Fourth and foremost, and things of that nature, you got people receiving uh, visions and things of that nature, but cannot speak or write in some way, shape, or form. I mean, cannot write and or or, or or read in some way, shape, or form. So this is giving you context, context in Jewish literature, if you know enough Jewish literature. Now, when you add that back to Jesuit intellect, that help you understand that, oh, man must mean something different in this context. Not men, as in you call it male and females, men and women. In the Bible context, men must mean something different. This is why God became man, but can have burning hair or, or, or hair like wool or something like that. But in, a, but in another scripture, no man has seen God. So wrong starting points will lead you to having 2,000 year old Greek arguments. Having a right starting point will help you understand man means something different. Now, so when we get into man and woman in the Bible and reach starting points, what it actually mean, let's get into context and what the, what can these men do and what can these women do? And then when you sit back and ponder, you start to realize, oh, this must have been some Jewish person sitting back realizing this is some shit that they mind do. And the, and the men is going to be correlated to the thoughts. AKA masculine characteristics that the Greek interpolized the uh, Septuagint in. And the woman and the rivers and the seas is going to be correlated to the woman, the woman names, AKA the feminine characteristic traits that the Greeks have and the Masons have written in the context of the Bible in. So now that you understand that, now you understand starting points. Because Jesus wasn't calling himself Jesus. God wasn't calling himself God. So you understand the moment we read the first part of Genesis and it says in the beginning, God created that was somebody else with a brain. Because there is no way that somebody can be there at the motherfucker beginning, breaking down what God doing at the beginning. Okay. So we got to get past that first. You can't be foolish because you're getting paid and you're a theologian and you utilize an apologetics for no apparent reason. We have to start there. This is somebody's explanation on what they think. Otherwise, the story wouldn't be written in sixth person. It's not even written in third person. It's written in sixth person because the stories is written in third person. But the stories that's written in third person is coming from someone else who wasn't there so these is pretty much the stories that was written a few hundred years ago so keep that in mind when you're reading a story about peter and paul you're, you're hearing a story about peter and paul being somewhere but somebody writing the story about peter and paul you see how it's not even third person at least let it be from paul's account AKA Paul saying, I seen this, I seen that. You don't get that in no Bible. You get a story about Paul, AKA third person. And then it's about us experiencing things through Paul's eyes, AKA sixth person. It's somebody writing about Paul as if they was Paul there. It's not even a story about Paul saying, this is what I'm experiencing. It's a story about Paul and somebody writing about Paul at that time. That's dumb as fuck. That's a six, that's a six person fucking, that's a fourth, fifth, six person fucking view. Otherwise, let's start with the Genesis. Because it's say in the beginning, God, so it ain't in first person, it's in third person. And then we know that there's no such thing as this person actually being there while God doing this, which make it fourth, fifth, and sixth person now. How did we lose that? I don't get that. How, how did humanity forget that part? All right, Genesis 1-1 one, one now. Well, Genesis 1-1. One, one. So I hope everybody got that clear when it comes to Jesuit intellect, Masonic art, and Jewish literature. 
long as you got those three together, you will be able to understand any picture you see. You see a Mason because it's all Masonic pictures. Don't 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 go to Catholicism or or even an older Egyptian picture and don't think that it wasn't no Mason that drew that. Cause that, that that's what people was try to try to start an argument. All these pictures is Masonic. You see an angel with some wings, it's Masonic. So, for an example, let's say you see an angel that's not a cherubim, a seraphim. So, like an actual man, right? With with head, two arms, and two legs, right? And it got wings, right? That's that's a Masonic allegory to a seven-pointed star. Not technic. You see what I'm saying? And a seven-pointed star is just when three ain't three seven stars have an angle so a seven points and that one influence make what we call a wave or a star but it's a group of things and we can make a point out of it a point system this is what why, this is why we got sextiles constellations uh, i mean sextiles degrees um um oppositions that's 180 degree angle so when you so now that you understand jesuit intellect Masonic art, Jewish literature, you're under, you can see things clearly. So let's say you go on Google, you type in pictures of angels. You're going to see a whole bunch of different angels, specifically the, the men and women ones with the, with the head, with the head, the two arms, the two legs, and the two wings. It's just really an anthropomorphized concept of, the, of a seven point, a, a, a seven point star in some way, shape, or form in math. So it's this it's this dumb China as above so below type shit, and it's the best way for you to understand. And since they start to realize that human understand in very lacking ways, and with lack of knowledge, men and women shall perish. Hell, why not have y'all perish under their system so y'all can keep reincarnating? That's how they look. Hmm. That's that's how they look at it. Okay. So peep my fucking game. Now, in the beginning, God made the heavens. You already know that this is a third person. And you already know, if you understand Jewish literature, Masonic art, Jesuit intellect, then you know in the beginning means something on its own. So this, this could be a beginning of a civilization. And in this context, I'm just going to go ahead and because I already read the whole Bible. It's, it's, it's the beginning of a worldview. All right. Now, in the beginning of this worldview. God, in this context, is a different term for the Jewish mind. Because we know this is a Jewish literature book written in Greek in some way, shape, or form. So for the most part, this is their ideas. And where does ideas come from? The mind. So I don't care what they're calling their idea and saying it's doing this. We know it's generated from the idea. You can't say something is something else first, then the idea. No, it's the idea, then the generation of something. Not the generation, then the idea. Retarded. So God made the heavens and the earth. So this is either a Jewish person saying how they made their higher chakras and lower chakras, or their way of trying to make themselves seem like they're more superior than everybody else's mind, and they have the general aspect of how the world was created. But it's still coming from their idea. So in this context, it's God is the Jewish mind. So God made the heavens and the earth. Replace God with Jewish mind. The Jewish mind made the heavens and the earth. So they made how you understand the heavens and they made how you understand the earth. I don't see no other interpretation on earth but these Jewish people. So that's a sign that they witchcraft have been working for so have been working this for this long. Now. But the earth was unseen. First of all, ain't no real God, goddesses in the universe gonna know anything about what the fuck is an earth. Okay. Now, but see, people don't start with common sense. People just start with already believing something, and get indoctrinated, they don't want to piggyback off of it. But the earth was unseen and unprepared. So the earth was unseen and unprepared. So Ain't, the motherfuckers ain't explaining what created the environment and the space for this God to, to even be in the beginning or something. Where is this beginning? What environment and surroundings this beginning is in? It ain't, ain't no ex explanation. That let you know it's faulty already. This is men minds. Men and women's minds already in an environment and to make it even worse, already in their brain trying to interpret something. Now, but the earth was unseen and unprepared, and darkness was upon the deep, right? What the fuck is the deep? 
You don't go no further than that. What, what the fuck is the gate? Now, the only conclusion you're going to come to is going outside, looking up, and, and thinking that you're in something. So you're looking at it like it's real life. Once again, this is a Jewish person's in a brain already. In a mind, in a brain already. Or they wouldn't be coming with no dumbass terms. Okay? It's dumb as fuck. That's why this only could be an esoteric book. Because it's only somebody explaining how lost they was and they flunked out as mine. Now, like I said, and the spirit of God, right? The spirit of God. So if God is the mind, the spirit of it is the thing that's inside of it. We all got a spirit. We all got a spirit inside of our mind. So if you understand the Bible and you really read the Bible, you will start to realize the spirit is more powerful than anything in the fucking Bible. The, the father, the son, the, the Holy Ghost is the only thing, it's the only mover. That's, that, that's the only thing that's doing anything. The God ain't really doing shit. Nobody ain't doing shit but the spirit. So always keep that in mind. So in this context, this would be the spirit of a Jew. Remember I told y'all every time your spirit go into a new space, you create a, a, a broader awareness. So you go into a new darkness, a new virgin, a new Mary. And you create a new broad of awareness, a new horizon, right? And then for the most part, that awareness, once you get some fixated points in there, you get to create a mind. Your natures, your beasts, your trees, your waters, your light. That's your mind. And then therefore that bends in on itself. And before we even get to your generations and your organs, we want to stop there because that's actually what this book is talking about right here. But it took a Jewish person and a brain and trying to understand their mind for themselves already. Not no motherfucking, they, they talking about something outside of them, okay? You know what I'm saying? We got 316 views. All right, now look, check this out. Now, and God, and look, so, and the spirit of God rushed upon the water. Your, your spirit always rushing upon chakras, always rushing upon chakra wheels and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Because this is how you make things, you bring things into existence. You spin things into a cycle. Pardon me. Now, all right, hold on, let me go back. And, and the spirit of God rushed upon the water and God said, now God said, that's the mind. Only the mind be talking. You know what I'm saying? The thought, you ain't going to never hear no spirit talking in the Bible. That's stupid. The spirit got to move first. Your spirit got to move, move through a feeling, move through a chakra in the thought form. Then you start developing uh, what to say in those certain chakras, in those certain thought forms, in those certain feelings. Do, now, can you, now you understand how to teach a three-year-old this shit? You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't get confused by no Greek wrong starting points. And, and God saw the light, right? That's the mind. The mind saw a vision. That it was good. First way of getting lost because the mind saw a vision and thought it was good. It ain't got shit to do with anything being good. So that's going to that's gonna turn it into something being a nature of the mind. And if the mind can't change, we know a mind that don't change is demonic. A mind is an awareness that don't change. So this is one of the things we're trying to get the fuck out of a lot of times. So anytime we got a motherfucking God that's getting ready to try to jump down here and create some type of concept, uh, 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 something that don't change, right? And it's, it's forever lasting or whatever. That's a fucking demon. But you'll have a theologians and apologetics try to explain how uh, a mind that can't change its own thoughts is actually right in some way, shape, or form. That's fucking demonic. The fuck is you talking about? Other than that, it ain't no it don't have no sense of agency. How the fuck it got some sense of agency if it can't if it ain't got if it can't change its fucking mind? All right, now let's check this out. And God and look, and God named the light day. So God named the vision. Your mind named when you have visions, daytime. And the darkness was named night. AKA when you don't have no visions is, is at night, ain't no light. And there was evening and there was morning, the first day. So now you have a day, you have a chakra, you have a wind chakra, you have a, a, a chakra wheel. You know what I'm saying? You have a light and you have when you didn't have no light. You know what I'm saying? When you were just a spirit hovering over that water and things of that nature. So for the most part, this is you creating a chakra, a star, a planet, whatever the fuck you want to call it. A light body, a God body, a goddess body, a fucking mind. I like to call it a spaceship. Oh, y'all need some more ice real quick. Hold on. Oh, hey, four horses. Hey, four horses. Cheetah, cheetah, Libra, zebras. Let me go get some ice real quick. It's going to take one second because it's right there. Oh, 
All right, we're back. All right, so yeah. So that's gonna help you understand certain context, right? So boom. So now you're gonna start to understand if we're building a temple, if the heavens is the temple, this help you better understand terms like firmament. You know what I'm saying? This help you better understand terms like heavens, above, and starting points before you start to get lost into saying, oh, some Jewish person mind created all this. Because that's what you're going to get. That's basically what you're saying. And for everybody in the conscious community who be talking about, oh, I'm God and all this motherfucker shit. How? So you a Jewish mind? That's basically what you're saying. You some flunked out ass Jewish person's mind. You flunked out as hell. And you're not even intelligent. And it's fucked up because. The kind of world we in right now, nobody is intelligent. Not from the the most the most religious people in the world to the most atheists. They all like like low key retarded. But you can sit here and explain to someone, but you can't. When a person want to believe something, they only going to see what they believe. You're not going to be able to change it, nor should you even try to change it. All you could do is give better representations that you could teach a three-year-old it. And it's it's up to the individual to get out of their own fogginess to be like, well, no, nah, but I think about it like this. Yeah, that, that can make sense, but I still think it's this. Oh, no, nah, it's that, but it, that you just a fucking demon when you get into that kind of mentality. I don't give a fuck what you're talking about. At that point, you use this a fucking demon. Ain't no... You you mentally lost and you don't want to be mentally you don't want to not be mentally lost because you need whatever that took as a mental crutch. So you ain't gonna understand life. You just gonna understand what's told to you in a pandering way that you already believe. Because you know what I don't like? You'll get on the internet all day, right? You'll have people preaching. Even people make videos about me. People in the conscious community, all kind of shit, right? And sit up here and want to act all holier than thou. Oh, God this. God that. Uh, these people is demons. These people is this, that, and the third. But what kind of God do you serve if that's all you promote? You could go on some of these people's pages and... They could be acting like the most godly people in the world, but their whole channel is promoting some de what they quote unquote claim as demonic shit. So you're basically entertained. Nobody wouldn't even know about a lot of this demonic shit if it didn't come through you. And the only reason it came through you, because you got that Christianity shit on your fucking mind. Christianity is the biggest demon, contradictive demonic promoters in the world if you really a christian the way it's supposed to be without the witchcraft practice on you you wouldn't have no time to be entertained by no fucking demon by no shit on the fucking internet by no fucking likes by no trying to persuade other people to fi figure out something and shit like you wouldn't have no time for that because you'll be too busy enjoying the fruits of your labor that whatever God you believe in is giving you. But if it's only making you pay attention to making yourself feel like you have to prove to someone else in the world you don't know on who's a demon, who's ain't a demon, and it really all boils down to you're the only one promoting the demon, then for the most part, that shows you the fruits of labor. What's in actuality, not what's lost in people's mind and what demons made people believe. No, the actual results of what the witchcraft do to people. The actual fruits of labor of what being blinded do. Period. You'll go on a lot of these theologian pages. They fucking backdrop is hell itself. A picture of them behind in front of a whole bunch of fire. The living proof is you know you in hell. You living in hell. You Get up and go to war and passion 
some flunked out shit every day. That's the fruits of your labor. Whatever you're saying and what you're going to get after death and and why something we need to see now, that's all la-la land in your fucking mind. What we actually can fucking see is what the fuck we can see. People being possessed. That's it. It don't go no further than that. People possessed by their fucking desires and don't even know where to start to look at it like that's a desire. See what I'm saying? Where you desire to promote a fucking demon every day, but you a Christian. You fucking retarded. You should be trying to run from anything that got anything to do with anything of any of this fucking nonsense. Shouldn't even have a YouTube page. Let alone, oh, Jesus Christ saved me from the new age. You already a fucking demon. Already a demon. Lost in words. All right, so let's get back to the knowledge, right? So, in the beginning, a.k.a. in the beginning of a worldview in this context, understanding Jewish literature, Masonic art, Jesuit intellect. God made the heavens and the earth. Some Jewish mind made the conceptualization of what it means to have a as above, so below. But the earth, a.k.a. whoever wrote this in context of what they're pointing to as terra firma, was unseen and unprepared, a.k.a. This person who's writing this couldn't have been there when Earth was getting formed. So this is their idea about what they think have happened. Understand starting points. Now, so how can this be God's word? A.K.A. when even you saying this is God's word, you got the wrong context. Now, here's the thing. God said, let, let light come into being. A.K.A. light is a manifestation of your first physical flesh form. A.K.A. is, meta, is a metaphysical vision is your metaphysical creature, your metaphysical organ. Now, pardon me, your water cycle. Now, and light came into being. And God, a.k.a. the mind, saw the light because your mind see things, realize, see the light. So that's giving you the starting concept of everybody's visions in the Bible. It's in the mind, not something that they actually seen that outside of them. Now. So whoever got the better intelligence internal can teach external, not that. 2,000 years ago, these people seen some external that we can't see external no more. And we only have to go internal and believe in faith to understand what they see external. It's this floatness. It's like it's this floatness. I can't even get past the first fucking paragraph of the goddamn Bible. It's like without without getting attacked by all the mental forms that humans is in that's lost already. Like this shit is crazy. This is true apologetics. And any any true theologian will come to these same will come to these same conclusions because there's only four or five spaces a spirit can be in that had a mind and a brain to even come up with these conclusions. Other than that, you're pandering, making up shit. All right. Now, look, God said, let a firmament come into being in the midst of the water. So that's water condensing. Right. That's you being shapeless and formless, a.k.a. indecisive, becoming decisive, making a decision, a.k.a. becoming firm. You talk about it in any kind of other way, you're going to get us lost. Because a religious person want to want to say it's a history book, but every time they break it down like a history book, they get they get flunked out. And this is how they understand that they always wrong. And then this when they twist it and be like, oh, no, this is the allegory. This part is an allegory. And we have to understand the separate. No, the whole Bible is an allegory. It ain't no such thing as Bible being a history book. The only parts of the Bible that's a history book is based upon the people who wrote this a few hundred years ago and their rulership. That's it. That's the only history is in it. And the names and the language that they fucking use. And that's the only history in it. But it's referring to allegories. All right. Now. Let the firmament come into being in the midst of the water and let a separator be in the midst of the water. Now, what will be the goddamn separator? Right. And so it happened, which it don't explain, but it's evaporation. It's talking about the elements. And so it happened. And God made the firmament. Your mind made the firmament. Your mind could only you could only be the one who make up your mind. That's basically what it's talking about. Make up your mind. Right. Made the firmament and God made separation in the midst of the water that was under the firmament 
and in the midst of the water that was upon the firmament, and God named the firmament heaven. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning the second day. So now that you understand this context, you understand when they're talking about earth, waters and things of that nature, they're not talking about the fucking land. See, relig religious people think when they start talking about the world, the waters, the light and, and, and all this motherfucking shit, they think it's, ta it's God talking about building the world how we see it today. That's why they never can have a good argument. It's talking about you. It ain't, it ain't just talking about your night and day. It ain't talking about no fucking outside night and day. This thing to that shit is already after a man inside of a mind, inside of a brain, witnessed day and night, compared what he got going on inside of himself or herself to what they think going on outside. So then they start calling these things these things. You see what I'm saying? When you start to get into a lot of these contexts in the Bible that's referring to geographical locations and shit like that, these are based on things in our body we ain't start calling these things outside of us these things until like later on in greek and later on we ain't start calling male and females uh, male and females men and women to after the fact when it's referring to in here it's all about the mind that's it and when you got a person that's already been born that's why it's already people here that's why you, we can sit here and I, I can sound the way I sound, right? And a religious person would be like, oh, oh you need Jesus in your life. Uh, all you need is Jesus to save. Then what about all the fucking people that was here before Jesus? Because if you can only be saved through Jesus, then that means everybody, all the generations that was here before Jesus wasn't saved then. So what, you about to get ready to make an argument about how Jesus came for them too, but they ain't never know Jesus? You flunked. You just got the wrong starting point. Give it up. Give it up, give it up, give it up. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Shout out to Tyler Creator. It's just time to give it up. That's it. It's just time to give it up. You got the wrong starting point. All right, now look. Now look, check this out. Now I said, let the water that is under the heavens be gathered together. Now that's all your lower emotions and feelings and things of that nature. Anytime it's referring to waters, this is your feminine emotions. This is how you emotionally coming across. This is your emotional flow. Somebody said, just curious. Do you know all what, do y'all know what, Yuria? I said it at the beginning of the video. It's ice. It's ice with uh, pink, pink, Himala pink Himalaya salt. And uh, hot sauce. I got cramps. If you want to get some cramps out right now, you know what I'm saying? That's what you do. Because I don't, I'm like low key diabetic. I'd have had pancreatitis so long. Hold on, y'all. Cause you know what I'm saying? I be having people contact me, but they not, they don't really live my life the way I live my life. Like y'all know I'm spiritual. So these be people I be having to remind I'm live. These be, these be people I be having to remind I'm like on a mission. It's, it's hard to get people around where I live at on my page. So I don't even try. You know what I'm saying? But it'd be, it be people I low-key fuck with. So I don't be wanting to cuss people out either. You know what I'm saying? But, like, if I barely know you or some shit like that, and you got my number and shit like that, and you calling me and text me, and I'm in the middle of live and shit like that, that means you don't take what I do serious, nor do you even really understand what I do. I don't even fucking want you around me. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not saying that to the, the person that texts. I fucks with the person that just texts me. I'm just saying that it's for I'm on a new path. And I've been on this path for a long time, for like eight, nine, ten motherfucking years and shit like that. That's why y'all see me dolo all the motherfucking time. I, I ain't really got no time for motherfuckers ain't on my path. You know what I'm saying? Like, why the, why the fuck do I feel like I got to sit and waste time on some funked out shit? You know what I'm saying? Yo. I cause I'm a motherfucker real quick, but... That's why I don't got a lot of friends and shit like that. But other than that, 
You're supposed to put yourself in that situation so you can flourish in whatever you need to flourish in. Because a lot of y'all stay in like areas, urban areas, suburban areas where y'all let the environment dictate y'all actions. Y'all let the people within the environment dictate what you think is cool or not. You end up never being cool. And then if you do reach a sense of being cool, it's something that you got to uphold. It ain't even really your true self. You see what I'm saying? So for the most part, it's all fake and fraudulent. And you're going to reach an age where you're going to want to detach from that. And depending on how much energy you put into it in the first place, that's how much energy you're going to have to take out of it. And that's going to be a whole lot of detaching from nonsense, bullshit, shit you was mixed and mingled in, shit you responsible for. All kind of flunked out shit. Where if you was just your motherfucking self from the start, the hell if motherfuckers like it or not, they gonna respect it. You see what I'm saying? And respect go further than any fucking thing. Matter of fact, I wouldn't want you to get nothing else but respect. Fuck likes. Fuck dislikes. You get you some motherfucking respect. Some of those likes are turning into dislikes. Some of those dislikes are turning into likes. Regardless throughout it all, you're still with your motherfucking self. It don't go no further than that. It don't go no further than that. You know what I'm saying? But always, you know what I'm saying? Put your light out there so you know what you want out of life. And therefore, the universe can start catering to that. Because that ain't nothing but what this book is teaching you. And whether you want to believe in it in another kind of context or not, at the end of the day, it still leads you to what the fuck I'm talking about. And if you don't use your own fucking mind to have some motherfucking strength over your motherfucking shit, then you will have a Job cloud over your motherfucking head. You will have a misaligned Noah's Ark. You know what I'm saying? You will have a fucked up day and night. You will be lost in words and spells and things of that nature. And then when you call on some of these words and spells to come help you in your life, it ain't going to do nothing but make you fall shorter in your life. Because these words make your spirit appear to be very small once you start to use these things and believe it. So you believe in it. So as a word, you jump inside of it as a spirit. That word came from someone else's mind, oral tradition. And based upon how small they look at you. You will allow them to control your spirit because not only do they control the robot that your spirit is in, that mind form, they control the size of it. And for the most part, they can make you feel very small to the point that you need them. You need they fucking in God we trust. You need them in fucking your kids having a trust fund. You need them in some way, shape or form in order for you to know any goddamn thing about yourself. And then that's when you know that's the starting point. Not you taking this motherfucking shit and separating it and saying, oh, no, this is something else. And the government right now is evil. No. Whatever this is, is the fucking government. That's why government, God, start with G. See what I'm saying? So until you find some real fucking spirits out here that can really help your mind. Get out of certain things that they mind was once in because you can't get out of it yourself is the only way you're going to be able to find any type of motherfucking sense of stability and equilibrium in your fucking life. Other than that, you're going to be reading all kind of texts and Bible in your life, getting confused on the masculine or feminine side, not knowing if you want to take the demonic side, the feminine woman side or take the the. Uh, the masculine God side, the thought form side. You know what I'm saying? Where you just lost in thoughts and feelings. And it ain't got nothing to do with any of those. See what I'm saying? You could you could pretty much chalk that up to God, good, thought, masculine. The devil, demon, feelings, feminine. The, that you could chalk it up to that. That's that's basically uh what the whole thing is. So, uh, man, that's so relaxing. So keep that in motherfucking mind. You know what I'm saying? Cause it sweat out certain toxins that stuck and, and the ice and the hot sauce and the salt 
relax the organs. You know what I'm saying? I'll be having like low key organ failure. I, I'm not gonna be here forever. So that's that's another reason why flight boss go so hard for any for anybody who didn't know. That's another reason why flight boss got so much fucking music and so many fucking live streams and videos and shit. I might go live about five times a day and shit. I slowed down a lot since I used to, but you know what I'm saying? Why sometimes y'all see me go through like little spasms where it might seem like I, I really want a relationship at the moment. The next moment, it seemed like I don't. The next moment, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm fucked up in the head. You know what I'm saying? I am going I am gonna have like some more kids, though, before I go. You know what I'm saying? You better believe it. I'm fucked up in the head, though. Real shit. All right. Now, look. Check this out, right? Now, also, understanding the context. Now, look. God named the dryness earth and the assemblies of the waters he named seas, right? So, this this letting us know the both feminine energies. Dryness, earth. The seas and the waters, he named those, I mean, he named the assembly of waters seas. So that's taking us to the two feminine energies. So Greek interpretation of that today will be how we utilize astrology as earth and water being the feminine um, elements, right? AKA the both bottom parts. We know water and earth is down below where the beasts come out. So we know this, what we can see an actual earth once we called that water and called that land. But for the most part, we know this is how we brought our consciousness down. From the air and the fire, the heavens and the light. You see what I'm saying? Air, fire, heavens, light. Light, fire, heavens, air. See what I'm saying? Air, heavens, thought. Fire, passion, feeling, light. You see what I'm saying? So when we bring that down, it condense. It solidify. And this is how something separates in the water. Something becomes firm and something becomes hard out of that, out of that fluidness. This is why... Earth is derived out of water, not water landing on Earth. You see what I'm saying? Now, for the most part, and it's breaking down the two feminine energies, and, you, and everything has a yin and yang. Yang is masculine in totality. Yin is feminine in totality. So you have a yin and yang into everything. So when you think about the the masculine, feminine, I mean the uh, the 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 left brain, the left brain feminine, that's going to be motherfucking Earth, and the right brain feminine is going to be water. See what I'm saying? Then you got the two masculines. The left brain masculine is motherfucking air. The right brain masculine is fucking fire. You see what I'm saying? So water and fire is internal in totality. Air and earth is external in totality. And when external and internal things have a replica, it's based on an eternal thing. And the eternal thing is the thing that's producing the energy, a.k.a. the spirit. And the spirit create a frequency. A vibration, aka a fire, a water that encapsulate, aka it start to derive it, to, it, it with a water cycle. That's air, and then for the most part, that's the heavens. And then now you can have a firmament, what becomes firm. Now the Bible is explaining it the same exact way that you could teach it to a three year old. Not no way that oh you have believed that God did this at the beginning and this is how the world was created. We'll never be able to find the first person. We'll never be able to find who was writing this in the beginning right there. We'll never be able to. We'll never be able to do none of that. So it's the wrong starting point. And it's a Masonic book because they are they using luminaries. The old books ain't use no terms luminary. Why is this using luminaries? Talking about for the for the big sun and the big the big luminary and the small luminary and the moon is around and shit like that. Why is it why is it talking about luminary? That's some that's Illuminati, illumination. Like uh, be, uh, that ain't being enlightened. That's being illuminated by somebody else enlightening this. They didn't got enlightened about something, created their own religion around it. They try to get you illuminated by the luminaries. See what I'm saying? Oh, what the fuck is this, man? Get the fuck off my damn screen. My motherfucking shit just be playing shit for no goddamn reason. Let's see my motherfucking phone is playing shit for no goddamn reason. What the hell kind of shit is that? My, the shit is on YouTube. Scrolling up and down. Clicking on shit. The fuck? Shit weird as hell. Well, this is real spirits going on right now. Real spirits. Now, I said let luminaries come into being. Into, firmament, into the firmament of the heavens for illumination of the earth and rule the days and the nights. 
Right? That's Illuminati talk right there. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, shit. That was good. That's Illuminati talk. So that already let you know who wrote it off the bat. And this is about a Jewish person writing about their own self in context of get ready to create a fucking generation. So once we start to talk about Adam and Eve and the fall and all this motherfucking shit, that already let you know that you fall in your own thoughts. That's it. As soon as you have a thought and you got a lot of other thoughts that come down and shit like that, for the most part, if you don't know how to bring these things together, the masculine and feminine together, you don't got a mind. You got a dualistic mind. You caught indecisive. You're not going to be able to come to a decision of anything. And for the most part, your world is going to like lead into like all the shit that Eve had to experience and shit like that. So that's basically what it's trying to break down. Right? Even getting into uh, God rest. It's say. God rests on the goddamn seventh day or some shit like that. It's, this is a fucking al Masonic fucking allegory. Where they trying to understand after they already in bodies a transit of a fucking sun and thinking how they come to the grips themselves and how they come up with visions and shit like that. So whoever came up with this context is it's so bastardized, it's so chopped up at the beginning you don't know what civilization it start from. You don't know if it start from Sumerian, Kemet, uh, 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 all this other fucking crazy shit. Because it's, it's all mixed up. It's like all mixed up. And it's somebody, and you can off, off the back tell just from the first paragraphs in Genesis that it's someone else trying to make their mind more superior. And if they can make you believe what you don't understand for yourself. And make you think that it's been passed down all the way getting down to the mosaic laws. Then for the most part, that's all they have to do to rule a fucking nation in some way, shape, or form. It's based on confusion. So Adam and Eve, this is the book of the origin of the heavens and the earth. So this is going to be the descendants of the heavens and the earth. So this is the many thoughts and the feelings you make from your heavens and your earths. You know what I'm saying? Your higher uh, natures and your lower natures. And when you start to ponder on these things, here go the generations. And the first ones you come up with is Adam and Eve, I guess. So this is the book of origin of the heavens and the earth when they came into being, a.k.a. when you, the visions come into being. So on that day when the Lord God made the heavens and the earth, that's going back to the regular Genesis, and every green plant a field before they came on upon the earth. So that's telling you the metaphysic energy of it before it manifested in which y'all think we can see externally. We built from the inside out. They stole that from India. See, it's, it's so mixed and mingled in here. You don't even know where to start. This not even one religion. This is like a, a group of texts put into one or some shit. Then it's saying, all right, and every green plant and field before that came upon the earth and every herb of the field before they have grown up for God had not sent them rain. We know the mind create tears and, and fleshly floors and shit like that. You can't even create no sperm or no egg cell or anything of that nature without being in a certain mind state. You got to be horny before you start. You got to be horny. Before you create any of the, the fleshly fluids that create brains and hearts and shit like that. You got other secretions that create other shit. But specifically hearts, brains and shit like that. You got to be in the horny thought. That don't come from in you already. You got to have a thought form already. Then it start producing as fleshly fluids. That, that give you a starting point. Our first bodies was mental bodies. Then, and that's not saying that that's you, period. You are the observer, the spirit. You created a body for yourself. That's the mental bodies. Then the mental bodies bend in on themselves as light forms and water, fire chakras and shit like that and become organs and shit like that. Now, these organs can keep reproducing what we already was doing. But when you are, when you keep doing the same thing with the same organs over and over again, it leads into pain. It's no longer pleasure. That's why I always tell y'all pain actually come from a Lord version of pleasure. It's the same thing. It's just too much pleasure involved. And how y'all, how y'all even made these organs, how you even made the brain too much pleasure is involved. So anytime y'all try to secrete the same kind of shit, that make the same kind of organs, you lead into say more pain down here. See what I'm saying? Now, some Jewish people just took that context and made a religion around that 
And that's only out of certain shit they stole from Indians. Now, look, check this out. Here's the thing. Now, the Lord God planted a paradise of Eden towards the east. It's always going to be towards the east because it's correlated towards the eastern continents. Yal de Baal, Archangel Michael, um, Aldebaran, Aldebaran, um, Orion, uh, where our sun supposedly rises up to to uh, uh, a new and then for the most part go to the right and then once we go to the right it we can reflect Pallades aka our seven stars and see it in the sky based upon the alpha star up there um, um Aldebaran which is the solar plexus of the Orion constellation and things of that nature and then therefore that that gives us an understanding of um the three, five, seven stairs and 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 coming into spring, um, um, coming into life, coming into birth and understanding the starting point from an operative astronomy perspective, piggybacking off an internal astrology perspective on how we give birth to ourselves. Now, that's so it's always going to be to the east inside of you where you give birth to a thought of yourself, a vision of your thought. So. When you call a section of inside your body so you can start so you could be in that space to start developing certain thoughts and feelings to help you destroy whatever lower animalistic thoughts drug you down there. You see what I'm saying? So keep that in motherfucking mind. Now. Uh, so the for God had not sent rain upon the earth and there was no human to work the earth, but a spring came up out of earth and water all the face of the earth and God formed the human with dust from the earth and blew the breath of life into his face and the human came into being as a living soul. Now, here's the thing. This is where religious people get fucked up at, right? Because they think that they're talking about human. Look, they just now started calling male and females humans. Human as men and women is a context of the mind. Hue is a different term for color that they stole from Kemet. And man is a term that these Greeks and Jews made up as the masculine version to, towards the mind. Right. And when you have a feeling that's too masculine, that's a woman, a holy man. That's not supposed to be that external like the staff. It's supposed to be like the snake uh, or the S uh, or indirect, not so direct. So. This is why they don't understand why it says human came into being as a living soul. That, that don't make sense. We got atheists that's human today that don't even believe in a soul. Is we going to call them a, hum, a, a living soul? No. So you know that's the wrong context of what human mean. Human don't mean the, the person. That don't. That's not what human mean. Human is a context of mankind or humankind. Human. A group of thoughts, a group of feelings that agree on a certain term and conditions. So that that group of thoughts and feelings, teamwork makes the dream work. All y'all going to use y'all light to bend in and make similar forms with each other to play out similar things with your own individuality. That's it. That's what the fuck it mean. So a living soul, that means all y'all are individual minds and the soul is in, is inside of whatever we call an individual or whatever you call in the soul. It really ain't the soul. The soul is what they're pointing to, but y'all fail to realize and conflate words. So y'all think the soul is what they're pointing to. No, the soul is what's inside of it. So if you are a living soul, that means you are a soul that has living organisms now. You have you're inside of a light form and some you're you're just not non-aware. You're not unconscious anymore. You're aware. So you are a living soul, living different term for aware. A soul that's aware, okay? Life, mind. That's why I always tell y'all, fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension. Life, one, two, and third dimension. Death, seventh, eighth, and ninth dimension. Birth, seventh, eighth, and ninth dimension is what the Bible trying to correlate to as Garden of Eden. In the Gnostic text, the Plurama. And 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 a motherfucking other is all kind of stupid shit out here. Believe believe me. All right, uh, now. The, the Lord God planted a paradise in Eden toward the east, towards the east. This is where your visions arise. So that's the paradise. Anytime you're pondering in the imagination, 
That's that's the paradise. We cannot point to the paradise in actual life because that's wasn't where they was pointing to it at. So if you lost into theology, a 2000 year old argument and you try to say, oh, no, it actually is a paradise and you can't point to it outside of us or you don't got the right context on how to point to where to find it in our mind. You're lost. So for the most part, the Lord, a.k.a. a lower light, a lower mind state, God, a lower God. A lower case, a lower mind state. And Eden on the east, east Eden just mean east. That's all it is. The Garden of Eden, east, and that's all it means, right? Toward the east of Eden in the eastern continents, there he, their light, placed the human that he formed, placed the human that light formed. He is a different term for light that de evolved. And God further, the mind further, brought up. From the earth, lower natures, earth is lower natures, every tree, every seed, that's a tree that grow from a seed, uh, that seed, beauty and sight, any, that's desires, now they're manifesting the desires, your fruits of labor, to good for food and a tree of life in the midst of the paradise, aka anything that you think is good in your imagination that you want to go in your way. Anything that don't go in your way in your imagination is the devil to you, Right? But river goes out from Eden to waters the paradise from the place that separates to the four sources, right? The four corners, the, the cross. The name of the one, Pishon, Pishon, whatever, Pishon, right? That, that'd be the first waters, Michael. This is the one encircling all the land, Havilah. Uh, the, there was a goal, it is, but the goal of the land is beauty. That's probably the one to the, the, to the top. Uh, Cancer constellation or Raphael, right? Then you got car Carbuncle, the green, right? That's that's it landing. So that'll come down to Uriel on that side, the stones, right? And then you got the second river. No, that'd be Gabriel. Gabriel that brings us down, Jabril. So that's green. That's the the, the grass or thing or the stone or the green, right? And then you got the second river, Jihan. And this is the one that's encircling all of the land of Cush. The third river is Tidris. This is the one ongoing opposite from Assyrians. Assyrians, that'll be going back to the eastern on the east of the garden, right? So that's taking us back to the uh, the east, back to Michael, right? And it's just descensions or descendants or separation of seas, same way how stars separate. Stars is water and shit like that. Assyrians, if it start with the letter A, that's going to the east. See what I'm saying? It's the point of reference for the first time. So, which will make Tidris opposite. So, Tidris will be Uriel or 180 degree angle or the complete opposite from the Garden of Eden in some way, shape, or form. So, that'll be the, the body of water that's protecting the, the gate of Garden of Eden or the one with the flaming sword at the Garden of Eden or the first watcher of the Garden of Eden. You see what I'm saying? Now, here's the thing. Now, the Lord God took the human that he formed, right, and pl and placed him in the parent. Now, the human, this is a colorful thought form, a worldview, and, and placed it in paradise to work and keep it up. And the Lord God command Adam, a thought, saying, from every tree that is in the paradise, you may eat for food. But from the tree, from knowing good and evil, you will not eat from it. And on whichever day you eat from it, you will surely die. You know what I'm saying? So all of this is like context and things of that nature. That's just letting you know your mind bear fruit. And anytime you start to eat bad thoughts, I told you, your spirit eats stars. Stars is thoughts and feelings. When you eat too much bullshit, start to pay attention to too much bullshit in your mind. Start to pay attention to too much stuff you ain't supposed to pay attention to. Then for the most part, this is how you die. You feel separate. You feel lost. You feel like you made a mistake. You feel unvalidated. That's basically what it's saying. You try to explain it in any other kind of context. It's a 2,000-year-old argument. You can't teach no three-year-old it. And you're trying to convince people how this is an actual history book, like your version of God actually walked the earth. And you know that any, any context in the Bible is not talking about it like that. You see what I'm saying? Now, let us make him a helper like him. And God further form from the earth all the wild animals. That's our na lower natures. And we're not talking about actual animals yet. And the field of all the birds. That's higher natures. All the thoughts you come from in your heavens. Your thoughts and things of that nature. And led them to Adam, a.k.a. your original thought. And then for the most part, to see what would, what would, he, what would you name them. 
What would name them? So this is you coming up with your own ideas about yourself, right? Now, here's the thing. And that becomes your heaven. You make up your own mind. Now, and he led, he is this light, your mind, your vision, led them and Adam to see what would name them and anything, whatever Adam named it as a living soul, this was its name. Adam gave names to all the livestock and all the birds in the heavens. Just like you give names to all your demons. Fuck, bitch, ho, slut, shit. You know what I'm saying? All that motherfucking shit, right? Now, and all the wild animals of the field. Yet Adam, no helper, resembling him. This is where the word bastard, all that shit come from, right? It's the same context. Even a religious person know that, but they sit here and try to argue something different because they ain't real theologians, right? So God laid the trance upon Adam and put him to sleep, right? So this is a thought that go unconscious, right? And he took one of the ribs, aka the reflection, a feeling from a thought. When a thought go to sleep, that's you basking in that feeling. Sometimes y'all allow y'all feelings to turn into desires, right? And then you can't get out of that feeling, right? Sometimes you got to separate and think logically about that feeling to see if it's going to lead to a, a area that you want to experience in your life. So that's what I actually mean by taking yourself into nighttime. You're going into a feeling and you don't care what nobody else think. You like that feeling and whatever that feeling or whatever that, that thing made you feel like, right? Now, here's the thing uh now and he took and light took one of the, the ribs and filled up the flesh in the place of it aka a whole filling in the place of that light and the lord god built that rib that he took there's really this is talking about an allegory of the moon now just talking about the allegory of a crescent moon right and then from adam into the woman now it's a holy thought you know what i'm saying it's a thought that you can't see what is a thought that you can't see a feeling you can see a thought because it's a vision. But when you just start to soak in it and like how the way it make you feel, you can't see it no more. You're just feeling it. That's basically the mind state that these Jews was in to come up with that allegory. You see what I'm saying? And he led her to Adam, a.k.a. that feeling leads you to a thought. To we, to reawaken again, right? A.K.A. when you're dreaming, you have a certain feeling that'll reawake you. Whether you have a nocturnal omission or you have a certain vision in your dream and you wake up and be like, damn, I just had a dream. And you start telling people your visions that was unseen. Okay. And Adam said, now this is bone from my bone and flesh from my flesh. She will be named woman because she was taken from her man. For this reason, a man will leave behind his father and his mother and will, cle and will cleave to his wife and the two will become one flesh. A.K.A. What does this actually mean? Right. It actually means when a, when a man leave from his father, that's leaving from the original thought. And now you're sharing an existence. You have purpose. You're marriage. You're, you're having marriage. You're marriage and a thought and a feeling. And anytime you marry a thought and a feeling together. Now, the Bible explains specific thoughts and feelings, but I'm just giving you the totality of it. Anytime you marry a thought and a feeling, you have a purpose and that purpose creates flesh. OK, so right now, if you got a horny thought and feeling, you'll create a fleshly fluid right now. And feeling right now you'll create a body temperament and start sweating if you have it don't matter what thought and feeling men and women you bring together that is the beginning of creating flesh you can do that right now okay it's not talking about what these theologians and everybody be talking about and that's it for the month of the day because i got some moves to make and we, i got i want to have enough strength for later on tonight because i'll be needing strength to talk to y'all because i don't even i'll be looking down and looking up we'd be like four hours in Right. So that's for the night, 10 o'clock. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to finish this and chop it up with y'all, though. But, uh, yay. Uh, uh, so you can do that right now. There is no other way to make flesh. There is no other way to make flesh. Try it. Try it right now. And now you're you getting ready to know how to manifest in this world, how to use your three brains the way you're supposed to use them. So you don't get flunked out in any of these ones. That brain that we call that one, the heart brain and the dick and the pussy brain. And you'll know how to wiggle each one of them around just enough to manifest things in your life for your favor. And the people, places and things you're willing to be vulnerable with each three of these things with. You know what I'm saying? Other than that. If you got taken advantage of in any of these three areas, it's because you unaligned. Either you was somewhere thinking, oh, respect my mind too much. 
didn't have the heart space energy or the dick and pussy space energy. Whether you were somewhere saying, oh, respect my heart and what I care for. Don't you see how much I care? Didn't have no head space energy, no dick and pussy space energy, or you was in a dick and pussy space energy too much. Oh, I just want to fuck. Oh, I just like this. I just want this out of life. Didn't have no heart space energy. Didn't have no head space energy. So therefore, that's the only way you got taken advantage of in this life. And try to put some pressure on some future family member or some future friend or future relationship in your life to, to make them suffer about what some previous monkey ass shave bird person did to you. And, and you need to understand, same way shit got done to you, shit got done to other people. Ain't nobody got time to be taking up no fucking authority shit. To try to make you feel secure, to, to treat you better than the last person treat you, motherfucker, you either change your life and get around a better circle of people, or that's your own ass. You don't want to keep manifesting that bullshit. Because that's another thing, too. Sometimes y'all men, especially y'all females, y'all be thinking y'all don't have to change. Y'all be thinking it got everything to do with the external world. Then you will put yourself in to a situation like, well, I'm going to make sure I get myself together before I even participate. You ain't doing nothing but wasting time. Ain't nobody waiting on you. <laughs> ain't nobody going, ain't nobody waiting on you, your old ass, to get your life together. Ain't nobody waiting on you to, to, to get out your flaunting outness. And ain't, and ain't nobody, and you shouldn't be waiting around on somebody to play out some characteristics that look like they're getting ready to uphold and cater to some traits that a previous person put you in. No, you got to do all the work. You either stop having those same thoughts and feelings, change your actions, and then you're automatically putting yourself into a new circle. Therefore, the group of people, places, and things in that circle don't even got those same thoughts and feelings to, to interact with you the way that you've been interacted with to feel like you've been used and abused. You see what I'm saying? You got to change your fucking self first. Thank you so much for the donation. I'm Gold Matrix. You said what chapter? We, I just did Genesis. And this, this really was just me testing the waters. Because I'm really sick right now. I ain't really had no no script, no layout platform and what everybody want to actually question out of it. So I was basically just freestyling. But it was just me getting getting uh, warming myself back up to coming back live more frequently. You know what I'm saying? I hate taking days off and, and only being able to go live once. Or, or I don't have enough energy. If my mind be so fucked up. That I don't be reaching points the way I like it. So, man, my, my, I don't be feeling good about my live streams after the fact. Damn, I'm fucked up in the head. Thank you so much for the donation, Joshua Harrington. Real shit. I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Real shit. So, yeah, y'all got y'all to gotta understand that. Ain't, ain't nobody getting ready to jump in your life to, uh, to, to help you with... What the last person did or didn't do. You need to know what the last person did or didn't do. And figure out to yourself why you allowed that. And then once you figure that part out. Uh, somebody said, K, K Dola, you, you need to watch me a little bit longer. We talking about COVID. Hoping it ain't COVID. And shit. I'm starting not to like the way you leave. Uh, I'm starting not to like the way you leave text. I don't like the way you leave comments. You know what I'm saying? Like just off, just off the way sometimes a person might think. I don't even want nothing to do with you. You might got like a certain way of thinking. I might not have to explain it to you. It just, I just separate myself. Me even trying to dive into it. Why would I even do that? That's, I'm doing shit I ain't supposed to be doing in this world. Using my mind for shit ain't made for. Sometimes you got to look at people like that. You got to be like, man, just because you think that way. Oh, nah, your actions and the way you think lead to things I don't want to deal with in my life. I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. You got, you got, that's how you, you save yourself from a lot of problems in life. I tell you, I tell you, you save yourself from a whole lot of goddamn problems in life when you think like that. I ain't going to tell you no lie. A lot of y'all don't know how to think like that because a lot of y'all probably grew up sheltered or grew up having the world in your hands and stuff like that or already already feeling motherfucking um, 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 validated in a lot of areas. So when you do go out into the real world and start to see that some of your moral systems don't work or or, or, or start to see uh, some of that shit, you said uh, only asking because I care. You know, you know, uh, shout out to K. Just, just make sure you don't you don't care and nothing that got something to do with the shadow government. And the God has said nothing about no COVID-19. So you think, you think you're real about to be sitting here thinking about COVID-19? 
and all my I, I, all my symptoms and stuff, everything I got, I had way before COVID nineteen, and it don't got nothing to do with the symptoms of COVID nineteen. You know what I'm saying? I got pancreatitis. You know what I'm saying? I got an actual hole in my hernia. Do you see that? It's a hole there. I can stick my finger. Oh, oh this is air. Nothing but air and traction and tissue being built in areas that ain't supposed to be built inside of my body. That's my problems. You know what I'm saying? Now, I wish I could do some spiritual shit and be like, look, y'all, spirituality can help you with your health and certain shit. That's getting flunked out in this. You know, once you reach a certain spiritual plateau, you start to realize that that's a form of pandering in the world. Because people, people going with that train of thought, a person could use how much money that they got. Yeah, it's pancreatitis. Yeah, I got my, my pancreas get my hernia get tied in my pancreatitis and my pancreatitis be causing all my other organs to fail. I, I already been to I have pancreatitis though, but but look, people will be able to use they'll be able to use how how much motherfucking uh money that they got to to say this how spiritual they is or how healthy they is to say this how spiritual they is and shit like that. And I met bums at the bus station, way more spiritual than the most healthiest, most living secure person that I can meet. You know what I'm saying? So that that let me already know that life and existence ain't got shit to do with men and women's pandering. All the way down to I'm Uriel. I go extreme. Y'all y'all terms birth, life, and death ain't got shit to do with fucking existence. Ain't got shit to do with shit. Y'all Bibles ain't got shit to do with existence. Y'all gods ain't got shit to do with existence. Nothing. Y'all lost all the way to the point that the only argument a religious person could come to me and be like, oh, and I'm not even an atheist. But the only thing they say to me is, oh, you must get pain and and God must ain't come to your life and handle that pain. So like some some dumb ass Jesuit thought form that they didn't took from a psychologist and really think that's the highest. Like when you listen to a lot of these apologetics and theologians like you will really realize that like we got a lot of like old kids in the world, like really old kids. Like you a fucking kid. You know how much pain that even from people that's not me that I witness worse than anything. And certain people that affect their faith and other people, it made their faith stronger. I'm wise enough to know that that shit don't got nothing to do with your faith. Whether you going through pain, whether you causing, cause, casting stones at something, wondering why it don't help you, wondering why it's not helping. None of that got nothing to do with nothing. You, you a weak spirit if you in that theology. So if you a theologian that's going around pandering to people in that concept, you going to hell too. You know what I'm saying you ain't no you ain't no smarter than nobody else. There's a whole bunch of adult kids for real in this world. It's just grown kids. Big ass kids. That shit is disgusting. Disgusting. You you, you do better not even having no no discussion with them. Cause they ain't gonna do nothing but try to belittle you with some form of Latin language. You know what I'm saying some form of man and woman Latin language to help you understand some front shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, K, I get it. K, don't don't be all here acting mentally retarded. You know what I'm saying? Soul group is smart. I appreciate you do care. I, I appreciate you care. I'm doing uh, so. I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Uh, I don't you know, I don't like the bitch too much. You know you know as an Aries. I don't like too much of that Karen energy either, too. Like, I hate for worse than she cheaters. Let me start cussing your ass out. So I'll fuss at you, though. Real shit. I'll fuss at you. Shout out to K. Real shit. You know what I'm saying? It get, it get tricky in the Aries brain, though. Like, get, stuff get tricky in the Aries brain. Like, real tricky. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everything become hateful. You know what I'm saying? To the point that just, like, I'll go somewhere, lay down, and die. I'll be fine. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Don't go, to, don't go to further than that. Don't go to further than that. And Aries don't care like that. I love all y'all for the bottom of my heart. You better believe it. You better believe it. Real shit. Real shit. Real shit. But yay, you know what I'm saying? It might not just be Aries. It just might be because I'm a triple fire. Well, quadruple fire. You know what I'm saying? Aries, Sun, Sag, Moon, Leo, Ascendant, and Mercury and Aries. So it's probably just like, like just it get extra funky with me. Like extra funky. I don't I don't even know how to feel cared for. I, I start feeling I start feeling weird. Too much care start getting thrown around. 
I start, I start thinking that's something wrong with that. It ain't we ain't supposed to do that in this world. I didn't create like ten live streams off that. How you ain't supposed to care for people? Like for real, y'all gotta leave me alone sometimes in my brain. Like for real, like you know, it's like it's tricky. Like I don't, I ain't never been cared for. I don't give a fuck about that. I care about y'all. I'm saying I can't. I'm not talking about the way y'all care. I'm not talking about it like that. I'm just trying to help y'all understand the way I'm talking about it. Like I'm not talking about it the way y'all care. I appreciate that kind of care. I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Believe, believe that. You know what I'm saying? Believe that. How you love that? Calm down. What else is that? But life trickier than a motherfucker, though. You got to be careful. These words out here and shit like that. You said, Dolo, you ever live in Cleveland? I've been in Cleveland mad times. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never lived in Cleveland, though. The only place I ever lived at. Is uh uh Youngstown and and Columbus. Those are the only places I ever like lived for like periods of time and shit. But I I've, I've been to Cleveland. I've been in and out of Cleveland. Oh, it's not to it's not to not to not my nigga. Oh, that's that's it. Oh, I'm saying that's it. I I've been down them streets. Oh, I'm saying I've been down the east side. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, like in Youngstown. We got South Side, East Side, North Side, and West Side. You know what I'm saying? You go to Cleveland though, it ain't like it ain't it ain't that though. It's just the West Side and the East Side. You know what I'm saying? That's it. It don't go, don't go no further than that. It don't go, don't go no further than that. It don't go no further than that. You know what I'm saying? And then I've been all throughout the East. I had a lot of missions in the East. I've been on that street. Matter of fact, that's about to be my next video. Under the same, under the same, because I think they put the, I think they put the Bone Thugs, uh, I think they put their name on top of it now. So you could go over there now, and it got East 199, and on top of it, it got uh, Bone Thugs also on there. That's about to be my next video. You know what I'm saying? I'm about, about, probably about to do my, uh, I don't know what song I'm doing next. It'll take me but nothing but 40 minutes to get to that street. I believe it. Y'all said it's this north, uh, northeast Ohio. You know what I'm saying? Once you start getting into, like, Cincinnati... I'm saying even Columbus and stuff like that's southern Ohio. That's going towards south. That's like that's too far. You know what I'm saying? It's like far. It's, it's still Ohio though. But that's getting out of the slums, Ohio. When you start to go to like the east, east, north Ohio, you get into like the slums, the the, the urban. You know what I'm saying? The the, the Akron's. You know what I'm saying? The the Cleveland's, the Youngstown's. You know what I'm saying? The Dayton's. You know what I'm saying? The Cantons. You start you start to get into like the you know what I'm saying? Out out of the out of the holy out of the holy cities like Cincinnati and all that's like the South. Like they you know what I'm saying it, it might be some crimes. If it is, it's, it's people from like from Youngstown down there. You know what I'm saying? That's the only that's the only way. Even like even low key Columbus, like you know what I'm saying? You gotta have a whole bunch of people from Cleveland, Columbus there. I mean from Cleveland or Youngstown there or some shit like that. Other than that, man, y'all just y'all just copying somebody from Detroit or something like that. that. That's one thing Ohio got a problem with. Copying. They love copying other places and shit. Like if you ain't like in no deep urban area spot, you might be catered to copying. Like you like you would go to like you probably go to Columbus and shit like that. And find a whole bunch of fake New Yorkers, a whole bunch of fake Californians and shit like fake, fake ass shit. I hate to say it, but that's how it is. Like I live in Ohio, old Ohio. I know how it is. It's a, it's a difference. You know what I'm saying? It, you got to be real strong to don't be outweighed by you want to be Detroit all of a sudden. All of a sudden, you sound like uh, you sound like what's homeboy name? What's some kind of beats? What's homeboy name? T, -T Grizzly, yay. Yay. You know what I'm saying? You go to certain parts of Columbus, you might think you in Detroit. You might think you just met like 10, 10 Gr T Grizzlies or something like Come on, man. Get that phony shit out of here. That's why they all attract to Youngstown or Cleveland or something like that. Thank you so much for the nation. Calm, calm, connected. You said, I want to know about the hermetic algorith algorithmic cal calendar and how they separate energy. If so, does that. I mean, if you want to know about it, you might go learn about that. Like, I don't know shit about that. What the hell is that? Hermetic. All I know about hermeneutics, hermetic. You know what I'm saying? Now, you're talking about algorith algorithmic, 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 algorithmic. Y'all know I'm from the hood, right? I was saying, that, that's another thing to all y'all. But, but, biblical, 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 Biblically, biblically, stay your foreign language ass, from thought ass language somewhere else. I'm from America. Don't come on my channel trying to argue me, bitch. 
I'm from America. Okay. Don't come over here and talk about the biblically. I'm coming to climb and say, get your fucked out ass language somewhere else. Let's stop trying to battle people from America. Get your fucked out ass religious state ass over there in that country. All right, real shit. Just because we got the internet don't mean you're supposed to interact with everybody. Get your fucked out ass language somewhere else. Okay. All right, no, all right back to what you said, Calm and Connected. You said her hermetic, uh, algorithmic, uh, algorithmic, <laughs> ribbit, <a> ribbit, <laughs> ribbit. The calendar. Oh, Sandler, the hermetic calendar. Everybody got calendars. Cal all calendars is built off hermeneutics. Hermetics. You know what I'm saying? Degrees and times and sigils. I don't even know what specifically you talk about, though. You got to get more into detail with me. You know what I'm saying? If that's like a actually hermetic teachings in some way, shape, or form. It's some more front out shit. All calendars come from hermeneutics. Hermeneutics is just hermeneutics. Hermeneutics is just uh ge ge the the geometry of the the motherfucking monad we in. And once you understand that the, the geometry, you know that some places cater more towards fire, certain other places cater more towards water, certain other certain other areas cater more towards air, certain other areas cater more towards earth. And based upon the alignment, we can see how that formulation gonna be structured out. And that's any form of hermeneutics. Now, once we want to talk about specific form of uh, hermeneutics, we're gonna talk about what you talking about for a second. You said hermetic algorithmic calendar. So you just basically made that up. You just wanted to sound smart. Uh, there's no such thing as a hermetic algorithmic calendar. What there is such things as calendars from from hermetic systems. You got the Julian calendar. You got uh uh. I, I, that's basically what I just broke down. All calendars is made for hermeneutics. Damn, I'm smart. <laughs> Real shit. I swear I don't be meeting Google. I, I swear I don't be knowing why do I even go on Google sometimes. Why do I even go on Google sometimes? Why do I even go on Google sometimes? I got to get out that mind state. Don't even go on Google. It's for don't. Ooh, this shit popped. It hurt, though. Uh, 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 the, 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 I'll be making no shit. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Shelly Bombshell. Biblically, the company stick up, but can come astrology. Can biblically respond. Oh, you respond to what? What I'm responding to? The hell you talking about? Lord Jesus Christ. Don't make no sense down here. Don't make no sense. Biblically, that's what Jesus said. Biblically, respond. What? Jesus, oh, so I'm lost. I'm just as lost as you now. I'm just as lost as you now. The comic can you said, actually, I was looking at the video of yours earlier. You said, uh, just tried to ask you about what, what was you said? Oh, uh, so, so we, 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 what did I say? What I, what I say? A video of mine earlier. You gotta be more specific, comic connected. <coughs> <coughs> oh, shit. <coughs> oh, I can't cough. Don't stop coughing. I be having one of those one of those kind of, kind of type of coughs. I might stop breathing after the next cough. Please stop coughing, please. Jesus, I need some more ice. But uh, yay, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> y'all, y'all gotta keep that in motherfucking mind. You know what I'm saying? It be flunked out down here and shit like that. <coughs> and uh, we'll be in a situation where your spirit be gone forever. You know what I'm saying? Your spirit be gone to some some lost mind state. You know what I'm saying? You, you somewhere bowing down. You don't even know why you bow down. And you got to have a dream that was so catastrophic to make yourself realize why you bowing down. And then you had to get out that dream and be like, uh, uh, damn, I'm, I'm, uh, shit, I'm, I'm in hell. And that's the only way, only way you're going to be born again. You always got to be born, though. You can't stay in no cloud forever. 
unless you about to be like this flunked out ass god that uh, y'all be keep trying to sum it back down here that already took every form down here it can't take no more forms it's a lot of spirits that can't take no more forms down here a lot of them then moved on Y'all didn't got this one stuck in its purgatory. It can't leave its Kuiper belt, whatever the fuck you call it. The chakras can't leave. The planets can't leave. That's the chakras. It's a spirit still jumping from chakra to chakra and shit like that in its own dream. All of a sudden, its own dream. The can't even use the body no more. And its minds is trapped in the body. That's why we only see darkness and reflection. You know what I'm saying? Because we we like blood cells inside the body. And this motherfucker, this, the spirit dead. The only way the spirit can represent itself is through its mind, its planets, the chakras. And they don't even know how to do that sufficiently. So we left on our own, like, to figure out what's going on with this retarded ass spirit. Like, like, what's up? like, like you going to move on or what? <laughs> you going you to help us move on so we can follow and have another light ray to be like, oh, this is what life is about. We ain't, we get, oh, la, 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 la. It had to write the babe, babe, the pig, la, la, la song. You know what I'm saying? Be lost in La La Land. But at least we'll know where we're going. We don't even know where we're going. So we all arguing each other. We all know it ain't no it tomorrow all ain't promised. We all know it's just pain. And we all know that we got to get out, out of here in some way, shape, or form. That's an example of we in a dead person. And we ain't being led right now. So we all like the blind leading the blind. Like the angels and shit got to come back. And shit like that. This old flunked out ass retarded spirit still floating around this dream. Don't even know it's still in a dream. And the dream that it's having, y'all keep adding to it. Y'all keep making this motherfucker think it's a man. And shit like, yeah, come back. So it just keep coming back through y'all. Mind. That's the only way it can live, through the cloud. And stuff like that. It, can, it can't come back physically. So it's like stuck between worlds and shit like that. And keep thinking it's alive for real. Because teamwork makes the dream work. All y'all believe is an actual man in history book. And this motherfucker is still in a dream. And the dream just looked like... It was in a third dimension still. So he ain't had that dream yet to be like, oh, I'm dead. You know what I'm saying? So this motherfucker dead, can't move on, and y'all keep praying on this motherfucker to come back in a vessel that's dead. He can't come back in that vessel and wake it back up and prove to you who he is. Because he ain't that anyway. He amongst a, a billion of people. Same way you wake up every day amongst a billion of different people, bugs, and animals. You know what I'm saying? So you just flunked out yourself. And then for the most part, this retarded ass spirit can't even realize it's, it's, it's dead. And then y'all keep praying on it to come back. So he, he keep having dreams that's his alive. And now we just keep having this flunked out dark world we in. We can't, we can't never go back to us be floating around and we don't need this heavy dense body. We can stay in our bubble body, our mind body, and emit our own day. Emit our own day and night. You know what I'm saying? At will. You know what I'm saying? You, you choose to be asleep. You choose to be awake. You know what I'm saying? You choose to emit your energy. You choose to be uh, indecisive. You choose to be I internal. You choose to be external. You choose to involve yourself in the universe. You choose to put yourself in your own universe. You know what I'm saying? That's that's how we originate, originate it. But when a spirit first created awareness and created its first mind, it don't have all those capabilities to know that's what it's doing. So it has to gravitate towards what all the other spirits is doing. And teamwork makes the dream work. All of our awareness come together. The minds come together. And then we have our own mind within that shit. And then for the most part, we're just trying to figure out what, we, what we're doing with our power. And it's leading into shit like this. But that's what your power is. We're trying to get back to that state. I don't know what's wrong with y'all, but what y'all doing with y'all mind is coming back into the third dimension. Even if you get born in the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, it's, it's a bigger version of the one, two, and third dimension. That's hit of the century right there, man. I just like relaxed all my organs, like, like everything is like, like had like a nice glass of warm milk or something like that. Like real shit. Like I ain't gonna tell you no lie. Like I, man, I go forever without going to no hospital, needing they fucking treatments and shit like that, man. For real, if like this could get a little stronger, and then for real. You know what I'm saying this, this is like put down. You don't need nothing else in the world but this. But like all the stuff that we do in the world based upon the shadow government, they force you to need the hospital in some type of way. You know what I'm saying? Thank you so much for the donation, Star Spirit. You said, What are things a spirit should be aware of? Everything. You are awareness. You know what I'm saying that's what you are. You know what I'm saying? Without awareness, you'll be nothing, no thing, just your spirit, just space. You won't be conscious though. You know what I'm saying? Once you become conscious, what are you becoming conscious of? What you just created? What you just created? Awareness. So anytime you become aware of something new in your life, 
you just created something. Now that that excitement in you, that fleshly fluid you just created, that external representation, all of those are after the facts. But that light bulb is is just what you created, period. And you lit something up. And then you started to experience everything in it. The fleshly fluid, your mind out of it, the visualizations, the external representation that made you feel like, oh, I never discovered five, five plus two equals seven. And now I know five plus two equals seven before you even lead into all that. You're in the space of awareness. You created something. And that awareness brightens something up for you to create a mind. And that mind is when you start to experience what that awareness is. And then that's the development of everything else. See what I'm saying? People don't know how to have the right starting points. Thank you so much for the donation, Daniel. Yaka Real shit. Real shit. But that that's how uh that's how spirituality work. If you got a panderer, they got a name attached to them. Oh shit. A conscious community, truth seeker, or new ager. A new ager is somebody who's all about love, peace, and light. So it's all about feelings. Um and ETs and, and and aliens and shit like that. And dumbass spiritual systems. A.K.A. Peter and Paul was the first New Agers. Right? A true seeker is someone who's all about politics. So don't you come kicking too much conspiracies and shit like that. No. We really got an oil shortage. Uh, no. COVID-19 really is real. Uh, no. We really need to vote. That's true seekers. Uh, oh, yeah. Donald Trump really is uh, against uh, Donald Trump really is our hero and shit like that's true seekers mind states. So that's that's a true seeker. Um, and then you got conscious community, right? People who use their mind for things that your mind ain't wasn't made to be used for. That's Lucifer. Consciousness mean information. Lucifer mean information. Information means the light. OK, anytime you have a calcified first eye is when you are being aware of too much shit. You could be traumatized as a child just because you was put on to too much shit by your parents. They introduced you to too much shit. You was aware. You was exposed to too much shit. So as you get older, you start to realize that's one of the reasons you have a fucked up head. You fucked up in the head. So for the most part, now that you are older, counsel, go back, digress, and understand the right starting points. That would be the right starting point into understanding how to, how you have a calcified first hot first eye. It's too it's too cluttered with everything you've been paying attention to and forced to deal with and be aware of in your life. And the moment the moment that you shed some of these things, you're able to be light enough and being dark enough without it having to strength so much, so you could give it a rest, so it can relax and spend time on pondering on new things, in some way, shape, or form. Right. So conscious community is basically motherfuckers who use consciousness for things they ain't supposed to use consciousness for use their mind for things they ain't supposed to be using it for and it only leads into egotism or wanting to be seen a certain way or fighting a fight that ain't theirs that's it you know what i'm saying so keep that in mind also and then you can find motherfuckers who got a little bit of all three you can find a, a motherfucker who got a little bit of consciousness a, a little bit of truth seeking and a little bit of new agers you know what i'm saying no, and that and the, the first people you could find who have all three of these people is like preachers, like theologians who utilize apologetics because here they go trying to be conscious of all science and everything to not try to sound stupid. Right. Here they go trying to be truth seekers. Right. A.K.A. They're into politics and try to and, and they utilize uh, theological debating. Right. They utilize it as a form of law and like debate tactics as if they're lawyers. Right. And then for the most part, and then they become um, truth, um, truth seekers. And, I mean, and new agers, they become new agers because they're using a collection of things to represent their form of religion or or um, whatever the fuck you could denomination or non-denominational context. Because if you want to be a Trinitarian, you have to go outside the Bible. Right. If you want to be a Unitarian, you have to go outside the Bible. Right. Because when I talk about God, that's a Jewish term and things of that nature. When you want to talk about God as a disembodied brain, you're going outside the Bible. So you're using your own mind of how a person made the Bible to explain why we can't go outside the Bible. And that just sounds stupid because to say that we can't go outside the Bible, you're simply just saying we can't go outside of a Jewish person's mind. Stop 
thinking that it's 2000 years ago, that's separated from it being an individual person or a group of people. These are still people. I don't care how many years ago it was. Thank you so much for the nation. I'm Gold Matrix. You said spirit eating the most important knowledge I ever got. Real shit. We eat stars. You know what I'm saying? Not not no flunked out shit on the internet where people be putting blood and spaghetti and shit like that. That's flunkness. Your spirit eats stars, information, thoughts, and feelings. You know what I'm saying? Thank you so much for the donation. Uh, Nick Harlow, you said, what's the difference between planet exaltation and planet rulership? You just said it. Which one is stronger or first? There ain't no such thing as stronger or first. They Everything got their own representation. One is the, the exaltation. What do exaltation mean? Something at its highest point. So it's when we can see it at its highest point. So you can only see the sun at its highest point when, when, we're, when we're going through the, be, the beginning of spring, astronomy-wise. So astrology, that's why we would say the sun is exalted in Aries. Um, you can only see uh, Venus at its highest point um, when we're going through the end of the winter season, the mutable. End. So that's why. So in astronomy. So that's why in astrology, we would say Venus is exalted in Pisces. But that, then that's also in Catholicism. Why they would say uh, Lucifer is the morning star or, or Jesus is the morning star. And you can see it before sunrise. So it, it authors the Christ. Christ is when it comes in the morning when it actually rise but the name of it before it rise is when you can see it before it rise so from um 4 a.m in the morning to 6 a.m in the morning is the 12 height 12 house Pisces hours right and that's when you can see Venus in the sky that star rise first right then Mars rise then Jupiter rise then Saturn rise but for the most part Venus so-called rise or expand as a body of water that's what I call it. And then for the most part, uh, that's the morning star because it's the star of the morning before the morning is here. So you experience the death of the morning, that portion of the darkness, and then the morning, the appreciation of the morning, the happiness of something being mourned, the rising. And then that's when the Christ come after in some way, shape or form. So that that's the uh, the whole allegory of Venus, Jesus, Lucifer, morning star and 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. in the morning is Aries' first house. Uh, uh, the second house is from 10 a.m. to, um, I mean, from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. That'll be Taurus' second house. Third house, Gemini, uh, will be from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. The first flood, summertime, noon, it will be the 12th house, 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. That would be um, Cancer or the first flood, Noah's Ark, things of that nature, the horizon. Um, Leo, fifth house, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m., 4 p.m. to 6 p.m., Virgo, harvest season, the micro version. Then you have fall, a.k.a. midday. You could go scratch off a ticket or play the number during this time also. Hopefully you hit 6 p.m., half of the day, you know, the other 24 hours, 6 degree Adam was six feet. Now, for the most part, uh, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., Scorpio, Scorpio, I mean, Scorpio, the Phoenix, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., Sagittarius, 8th house, I mean, ninth house, um, 10 p.m. to 12 a.m., Capricorn, 10th house, 12 a.m. to uh, 2 a.m. in the morning, Aquarius, 11th house, 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. in the morning and then back again. Pisces, Venus is exalted 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. And the sun help us, helps us correlate the houses. It helps us understand the 360, which is why I always preach to y'all. Shut the fuck up with that 13 shit, that 13 sign. There is no such thing as 13 houses and 13 signs. It only means that 13th constellation made itself a part of our 12 pi will cycle. The 12 constellations ain't even, if we got 88 constellations within our 12 pi will, the 12 pi will is just us understanding 360. Us understanding 360 is another term for a circle, a perfect circle. And, the, and when we slice a perfect circle, we get four square, four squares, four cardinal points. And then you can slice it up into 12. You can't slice that up into 13. You the 13, because you the star. 
So whatever allegory you come up with, you're the 13th constellation, all your groups of thoughts and feelings, or you're the 13th star. When you make an alignment out of, out of all these things and your natal chart as one, make you as a virtual principle, you as a walking star, a living soul. So for the most part, you are the 13th star moving through these 12 houses. You see what I'm saying? So like, I don't, that's the only way to look at it. The, the center path. Any any other any other knowledge is flaunt. Any other knowledge is la la land. You know what I'm saying? They don't know what they're talking about. They yeah. call it for houses. That's it's all all uh uh la la land. It's all uh motherfucking um uh motherfucking is this weird weird it's like it don't make no goddamn sense you know what i'm saying uh because what people i don't know what people be taking their allegories from you know what i'm saying it's just it's stupid and uh that just made me think too because they call it for these houses i don't know how y'all be doing that shit in, in new york and shit like that and, and and jersey and shit like that a lot of y'all so group y'all might need to holla at me because like just looking at houses just looking at apartments and shit like that y'all talking like 1200 1400 for like a one to two bedroom small last apartment or condominium and shit like that. Man, I'm about to, I'm about to get a big ass house for 700 a month. <laughs> what? Like y'all don't like y'all need to move. Like I don't I don't how y'all do that for so long. That that's like weird. A lot of y'all who live out there, y'all might need to reevaluate the looking at that shit like I I hate that I even gave my number to that area code. Real shit. I'm about to get like a I'm about to get a big ass house. Motherfucker. The seven to eight hundred dollars a month. That's it. And just get and then just pay for gas and utilities. Y'all motherfuckers is paying about fourteen hundred for a small ass apartment. Like what? That don't even make sense. I think they trying to make y'all move. I don't even know how I even considered that. I don't know where I was. I was lost. I never move. I never move. That's the only thing I ever get to in fucking New York or, or Jersey or some shit like that. I get like a little, just a little building or something like that for a school or whatever like that. As, as far as a place to stay, hell no. Well, what's the purpose of that? I can get a big ass house for $700. That ain't gonna make no sense. That doesn't make no sense. Y'all living flunked out. You can't convince me that y'all jobs even pay enough to make that feel good. Y'all must be on all kind of assistance. All kind of assistance. You know what I'm saying? Or y'all people's rich. One or the other. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm, st I'm starting to believe that all y'all New Yorkans and stuff like that, y'all spoiled. Y'all really ain't got no reason to be acting the way y'all be acting. I don't even care if y'all even live in the, the apartments y'all live in and shit like that. Y'all will keep on some front shit. It's like y'all, y'all, y'all was set up different. Like y'all was set up different, but it's like a, a different kind of poverty where it's like y'all get paid more, but it ain't much, but y'all spoiled for shit that y'all don't got no reason to be spoiled about. Like, it's, it's weird. They, they fucked up. Y'all hey, New Yorkers got y'all fucked up in the head. I see now. I see why now they, the Masons did a job on y'all. Just y'all living there and the shit y'all parents got to go through and shit like that. Y'all fucked up. And yeah, Toronto too. To y'all right next door. Y'all fucked up in the head. There's something wrong with y'all. They The Masons did something to y'all. Y'all whole tri-state. Montreal, all, New York, up, up top, all y'all. Uh, Jersey. Philadelphia, all oh, y'all, y'all fucked up in the head. Son, they did something to y'all. Like, y'all ain't live right. Like, y'all, like, spoiled for shit y'all ain't even supposed to be spoiled by. Y'all, poverty as hell. But it's weird. Like, I don't get it. Y'all got, like, a a famous poverty. It's like Masons or some shit. Yeah, I, California's too. Not as much as the East Coast, though. The East Coast got some deep sense of pride that ain't even supposed to have a pride there. I uh, said I wouldn't even want to have no pride there, but y'all got a pride there. It's it's, it's weird. I I can't.
can't explain it. I'm, I'm going to get to the Masons and Rituals that did that to y'all, then I'm going to attack them. I'm going to make a live stream about that and start pinpointing sigils and shit and then come back to New York and then start then do some videos, buy some of those shits and stuff like that. But it's something, something else going on. They got y'all flunked, though. It's fucked up. They got y'all god body out on some other type shit. But other than that, man, I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. I gotta, I gotta flesh, it, flesh myself out, man. Like you do better getting some like Fantas or some shit like that. I'm all out. You know what I'm saying my body dehydrates itself because all the fluid want to sit in one area. That's why I, I just now realize, man, these teas don't be detoxing shit, man. They be filling your body up with shit, man. As soon as, as soon as I drunk some a uh, little bit of a uh, pop or whatever, like then I started pissing and flushing out and sweating and shit like that. I'm like, man, thank God. That this this bust and shit like that before I went to the hospital and shit like that and shit hurt and shit I couldn't get all of it out though you know what I'm saying so I was like oh it ain't it ain't that if you drink too much of the carbon shit it, that could fill you up too but every now and then man carbon that that flush you out sometimes alcohol flush you out just don't overdo it but that shit that they be saying that flush y'all out man it that shit don't flush y'all out it just if it, it it impact you. Man, all the man, cause I just realized, man, all that, all them teas I've been drinking, all that tea and all that shit, man. That's the only thing that was coming out. I'm like, hold on, man, what the fuck is good as this term, detox? The fuck good? What the good is this term? You know what I'm saying if, if I'm holding on to all of it for like a whole month, you know what I'm saying ain't none of it fleshing out. You know what I'm saying the, properly. Some leaves and shit like that. I don't trust that shit either. Ginger. I don't trust none of this shit. I, I, I'm going to do what I do and just figure out how, how I'm supposed to do it. And that's it. That's all. Even if it take battery acid. Shit. That's it. It don't go no further than that. It don't go no further than that. And I lay you off in the bottom of my heart. You better believe it. I ate some more ice. Real shit. And I got to have some more strength for the night. I, I got I to gotta read it and do too. Hee <laughs> hee.